Hello and welcome to the Expat View, where we're all about knowing and growing expat women and their families. I'm Renee Letterman in Houston, from our living room to yours. Today we're going to be talking to Perrine Lubuna, mm -hmm. and she attends the Audi International School here in Houston. Welcome, Perrine. Can you tell us um, what? What type of preparations did you uh, did you do before you moved here? Well, there was the whole um, packing process where we had to put our furniture into boxes, of course. And I think um, what I did on my side was really having this um, little box where I would put all the objects and things I wanted to find when I would really get here. Mm -hmm. Because you know how everything comes in a few months mm -hmm. after you. so. I really took um, books or pictures or you know teddy bear that I just put in a box and took with me before. Okay, so um, those special things mm -hmm. to you, those were things I would imagine that really made you feel more at home. Mm -hmm. They were very very intimate things, mm -hmm. yes. and to help to to just make you feel less less anxious. I would imagine. All right, so where did you where did you move from? Uh, I moved from Belgium, okay. in Bra from Brussels, Belgium. Okay. How many years were you in Belgium? I was there for uh, seven years. Okay, seven years, and then you moved here to mm -hmm. Houston. And how many years have you been here in Houston? I've been here for uh, five years now. Okay. Wow. So tell me what that's like in terms of moving here. Have you made lots of friends? Um, yes, I think I've integrated pretty well with uh, both kids from my own culture and other cultures as well, so that's um, really something I appreciate a lot. Good. Was it difficult for you to make friends? Um, no, because I, I think I'm a, I'm a pretty social person mm -hmm. a, as a general thing, mm -hmm. so I, it was rather easy for me to make friends when I moved here. Okay, and what about um, the friends that you left back at home, back in Belgium? Was that really, was, tell me about that experience. Well, um, it was, I think, especially hard in my situation because the, the year I moved, um, I moved at the end of, of sixth grade, mm -hmm. which is your first year of middle school. But um, to enter middle school, uh, I moved to a new school. Okay. So I, I had only been in that school for a year when I moved. Mm -hmm. So I had just had a year to make all these new friends and get uh, get used to the school and the new system and everything so um, you know I was just getting comfortable and and really had made friends I was happy where I was and then my parents just said well we're moving to Houston you know so um, th that was pretty hard on my side I didn't really want to move but right, right. you know you can't really choose. Right, right. I would imagine that that can be really uh, there's a lot of grieving involved in that. Mm -hmm. The losses, your friends there in Belgium, moving to Houston, having to make new friends all over. I would imagine that can be pretty challenging. Now, what grade are you now? Uh, 11. 11th grade. And um, so integrating in, in, in Houston, what about uh, the culture here? Was that something really easy for you or... Well, I think the American culture, as a general thing, is pretty fascinating. So when you move here, especially when you know you're still 11, 12, something, everything is, you know, everything is bigger in Texas, as they say. Yes. And so everything is really just, you're just kind of fascinated, fascinated by everything, and you're just like, wow. So it, the culture is definitely very different. Mm -hmm. um, but I think one of the hardest things. Um, to get used to when you move from, say, Europe to Houston is really the size of the city okay. because you can't do a anything without a car. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I had more freedom of you know movement in sixth grade than I did uh, the first years I were here. So that, that you know that was a big change. I'd say. Mm -hmm. So did you, did you your family did they adjust pretty well? Yeah, um, they did. Now my. Uh, my brother is actually in uh, an American school, so oh. he has adjusted very well. <laughs> He's in an American school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how many languages do you speak? Uh, fluently, I speak 
uh, two, well, French and English, mm -hmm. but I, I've, I'm learning a few. Great. Yeah. What type of activities do you enjoy? Um, I run on my own. I do a lot of running, and um, I do a lot of theater. I've been doing um, theater for over 10 years now. Wow, how exciting. <laughs> yeah. I bet you're really good. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the running and theater mm -hmm. and what else? Uh, when I moved here, something I discovered was uh, soccer. Because oh. I had always been um, a big fan of watching soccer on TV. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, you know, people say soccer is the French national sport because everybody mm -hmm. watches soccer on TV. and. Um, and so when I moved here and I saw that girls could actually play soccer, which is something you, you really don't think is possible oh. when you're back in Europe, you know, that's not something that people advertise quite as much. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw that there was a team for girls in seventh grade, so I just said, well, I'll just join and try, you know, and mm -hmm. that's something I still really like today. Wonderful, wonderful. So you like running, mm -hmm. you like theater, you like soccer. And that's something that really keeps you busy, huh? It, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. What do you and your friends like to do to, to hang out? What do you enjoy sharing with your friends? Uh, we we go to the movies a lot, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. And something I do with um, a few of my friends is um, I have a friend who who's um, a really good horse rider. Uh -huh. And so every now and then during break, she'll take us to her barn. Mm -hmm. and we'll just go horse riding. Mm -hmm. Or we also go to stores like uh, Bars and Nobles, uh -huh. and then we just go in the evening, sit down for a few hours and pick up books or whatever, and that's basically it. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. If you were to give your peers at least two tips on how to integrate in a new culture, mm -hmm. what would that be? Um, I think being curious is a big thing. I, I think. What's really important is when you move to a new country, especially a country where people speak a different language, mm -hmm. is not letting the language barrier stop you mm -hmm. from getting to know new people or new activities. Mm -hmm. Because that's something I've, I've learned when I moved here is that um, I know some people who have been here for longer than I have and they're still not as integrated with you know the um, the international section are in our school because we have a French section right. and uh, an international section. I'm in the French section, so when I moved here, I was quite surprised that some people would, who were already there didn't really know. They really know the people in the other section, mm -hmm. and I think it's quite sad. You shouldn't let the language barrier really stop you from, mm -hmm. you know, doing activities or doing sports, theater, whatever. You know, just mm -hmm. be curious. Mm -hmm. I think. I think that's great. I really like the tip that Perrine has given us today to really not allow the language barrier to, to uh, compromise your experience in a new culture. I want to thank Perrine today. She's really, really been very helpful and uh, I'd like for you to visit us at theexpatview.com if you'd like to find out more about us and also visit us on Facebook. And there's something else that we're doing uh, this month, and that is we're collecting one-minute video tapes for uh, third culture kids or kids who are in international schools and different cultures, one-minute uh, videos. And if you would like to participate in that, you can email those to us and we will fe feature them on our website. So I'd like to thank you again for joining us today from our living room in Houston to yours.